couple hours fishing, a couple hours diving in the water. It doesn't get much better really. Another beautiful morning on the ledge. And this morning I've got all of my dive gear as well as my fishing gear because I've got the day off. So I'm gonna do a bit of a mission and time to climb down the cliff with all this gear. It's been a mission to get it in here, but epic morning, so it's gonna be good. Let's get into it. Man, there's not a cloud in the sky. Well, except for those clouds over there. But other than those ones, there's not a cloud in the sky. How has it been so small that all the seaweed is getting bleached from the sun? It's got no water on it. Yesterday? Yeah, it's all changing, hey? That's a boat wake to show you how flat it is that the biggest waves coming <laughs> are a boat wake. It's amazing. Very, very rare to get days like today. These rocks are just encrusted with barnacles and uh, these are extremely sharp, will just cut you to pieces. So, I don't know where I'm gonna get in. Need a safe spot to be able to get in and out of the water. Kingy. It should be like 60 something, pretty small. Yeah, roughly 60, yeah. 60, yeah. Two? Oh, it's like 59. It's pretty fat. 59 centimeters, but a really fat little kingy. Oh. Well, no donuts, that's good. <coughs> Keep casting. See if we can upgrade to a bigger model. There? Rat kingies? They're rat kingies, eh? Just letting my garfish sink to the bottom, or close to the bottom, you don't want it to get snagged. And just hoping a really big kingfish swims past. It's like good time of morning for it. Oh, it's that big whale out there. Lots of whales cruising past at the moment. Oh, hit, hit, kingfish. Oh, come on. There we go, there we go, look. Oh. Right there. Look at him right there, look. Right there on the ledge, look. See the kingfish? Yeah, right there, man. I'm gonna jump in in a minute and go and look down here and see. I've actually never dove here before, so it's gonna be cool. Check it out. See if I can find some lures. Maybe get a fish or two. What have I got? That's the smallest kingfish in the world. 
Look how small this thing is. Tiny. My gosh. Let's get it back in the water as quick as possible. <sighs> Pretty much as flat as the ocean gets. It's insane. Not often you see the ledge this flat. Lee trying to tempt the kingfish, which are being very, very fickle this morning. What have you got, Lee? A bonnie. A bonnie? Yeah? yeah. Top water bonnie? No, a jig. Oh, jig. Nice. That's a good bonnie. Yeah, that's a good bonnie. Ew. Winter. Cold. Winter bonnie. Yeah, winter bonnie. Oh. All right. This is going to be the last cast. I'm going to go put my spearfishing gear on and check out what's under here. All right, that's it. I'm going in. Jumping in. I've been wanting to dive here for a long time, just looking at the water and really curious about what's underneath the ledge. It's such a steep drop off. There's quite a bit of structure down here. The other thing I wanted to die for was lures. I've lost a few lures, so it's good to get some back. Also gives me an opportunity to clean up the ledge a bit, get rid of some of that fishing line. Nice little school of yakkers. little bait fish holding up in the shallows. A couple of squid jigs. And a nice little bibbed minnow. Take that one. I like creeping over the edge and having a look to see if there's anything down there. It's a nice big blue groper. Ooh, this is a good find. It's a Gigaro Super Slide 60 gram. Nice little jig, this one. 
in really good condition too. Another blue groper just cruising. I had a bit of a cold, so it's making it a bit hard to dive deeper. And the visibility wasn't really that good anyway as he started to move out deeper, I think, because there had been some northerly winds the days before, and that generally creates some dirty water. So I decided to stick to the inside. Couple good drummer there. Try to creep over the top and see if I can find them again. It's a good school of Ludric there. Some sweet mixed in, but a good school of Ludric. just couldn't find the shot on this school and I'm actually pretty hesitant to pull the trigger early on in the dive because especially diving by myself I don't want to be dragging fish around with me just increases the risk of a shark or something else coming and having a look so I usually leave it till the end of the dive till I shoot some fish to take home big school of yakas few nice drummer hiding under this ledge but they're sort of just on that legal size range and I decide to leave them and move on spot a couple of goat fish down here goat fish are one of my favorite fish to eat I like to steam them and they can be pretty hard to stalk, particularly when you're coming down straight on top of them like this. Just pull the trigger a little bit early. See that big fella laying on the bottom in the depths? Didn't even notice it until after I'd pulled the trigger. Really nice drummer there, just just maybe had the shot on it, just didn't pull the trigger. Found some good abalone too. It's really important if you're going to get abalone that you use a proper abalone tool. It's not sharp and doesn't harm them. So you can get them off the rocks and then measure them up and make sure they're legal and if they're not you can put them back unharmed really important. If you use a knife, it's so easy to injure the abalone. It's not something you want to do. I'll grab a couple of abalone for dinner.
Oh, big stingray. I thought this thing was just going to swim past me, but it turned and actually started coming at me. A little bit too frisky for my liking. I don't think it really liked the shark shield though. Another good drama there. Alright, it's getting to that point in the dive where it's time to get a few fish and go home. Oh, Stingray back again. So shallow. And that stinger on the tail really worries me. couple of good drummer hiding under that ledge there. There's actually a huge broom in here as well as some drummer. Look at the broom come out in a second. See that big broom? Really solid broom. good drama in this hole too. Just trying to find the right size fish. Oh, there's a good Ludric in here. Alright. That's a good one for dinner. table size this one. A few Australian salmon. I never like to shoot Australian salmon anymore. It always seems like wherever the salmon are the sharks aren't too far away. It's a nice drama in this hole. What I've found if you're shooting into these holes, you sort of got to twist your spear to get it out. So I'm twisting it clockwise and adding clockwise to try and get it to that magic point to pull out. Sometimes the flopper can get stuck in the rocks. It's a good sized drummer for dinner. Seen a couple of big drummer here just down to the left see those drummer couple really big ones but they're not letting me get close even though I was hiding on the top of that ledge so I'm trying to dive down to the bottom and not look at them and they're coming in pretty curious I really had to take that shot. It was not the best shot, but it was just about to swim off and I really wanted to take that one home for dinner. It's a good sized drummer. They're really delicious fish. They do live in the same zones though, so it's it's pretty important to not hit one spot too hard. I think it would be pretty easy to decimate a population of drummer if you hit one spot too hard. So I generally take a couple from one zone and then move around when I go spearfishing and make sure I spearfish in different places. Alright, time to head in back up on the rocks. Got a few fish for dinner, so pretty happy about that. All right.
right, this is the hole. A few fish. It's a big drummer. All right, that finishes it up. Just finished scaling these. Got these seagulls here who have been having a good feed. And almost time to pack it up and head home. Epic little morning. Just found these cool little starfish in the pond when I was cleaning out the fish. Epic little morning on the ledge. Just really doesn't get much flatter than this. Crazy. Couple hours fishing, couple hours diving in the water. Doesn't get much better really. Getting pretty hungry though, it's getting close to lunchtime, so I'm gonna get this fish home and sort everything out, pack up and hike out of here. Alright, catch you next time. See you. There's that little crab there, look at it. Full camouflage. So epic. Hello little mate.